And finally, in tonight's Military Matters, a national veterans organization called the Atomic Cleanup Veterans are asking for your help to get the medical care they need from the Department of Veterans Affairs. Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore tells their story. Michael Horton is an atomic cleanup veteran. As a specialist in the Army, he and thousands of other soldiers traveled to the Marshall Islands in the late 1970s, tasked with cleaning up after nuclear tests. We provided logistical support from the islands within the atoll, carrying men, equipment, and contaminated radioactive debris. But just how radioactive was not immediately known, not to the men. The U.S. military had tested over 40 nuclear weapons on the islands. You can easily see the craters in Google Maps. The highly radioactive material was sealed under a concrete dome on Runet Island. Congress was told the men were wearing special suits. Horton says in reality, they were not. Before there was all this concrete over it, they were wearing t-shirts. T-shirts, boots, shorts, jungle hat, t-shirt optional. The men had thought it was safe, but when members of the original companies tried to reunite later around 2011... We found out that out of approximately 8,000 troops, we've only located 450. That's young men dying before the age of 60, many before the age of 50 and 40. And that's when the Atomic Cleanup Vets became an activist organization. They currently have two bills going through the United States Congress right now. H.R. 632 and S-283. Both bills would make these veterans eligible for cancer treatment, much like those who served near nuclear sites in World War II. Now Horton hopes people all over the country will call their representatives to support the cause. We hope that this is not our second failed mission, that we get the recognition, we get those of us that are in being uh, treated for cancers for the VA to recognize that and give them the help they need. In Simple, Andrew Moore, Channel 6 News.